It's a big old star. Ooh, Kirby looks very pleasant and happy. Just like how I feel on the inside. Haha. <laughs> Haha. Oh, man. Uh, this is the exact opposite of how it actually is outside right now. It is a dark and stormy night at midnight. And I'm playing Kirby in the Forgotten Land, the first true... 3D Kirby adventure to ever exist. We've had it kind of teased, but not quite fully. That's what it looks like outside. All dark and cloudy. Oh boy. Kirby's going to save Dream Lane once again with the help of cars and other transformative abilities, a vending machine, whatever else, whatever else is on the docket. Um, I have not seen anything of this game at all. I did not play the demo that was available because I wanted to be totally surprised by how Kirby and the Forgotten Land was going to be. Um, as you may know, I'm a Kirby fan. You can barely see it, but right over here... Actually, I can show you. I can zoom out. I'm going to zoom out on my camera. Give me a second. Right there. Bam! You see that nice Kirby right there? That is one of my most prized possessions ever. It is a first four figures Kirby statue that is in the background of pretty much every single one of my videos. So you can see that looming in the background. Uh, you won't be able to necessarily see it here, but it is there watching over me, twinkling, making sure that I don't, I don't know, binge eat food like Kirby does. My name is Brian Saviano Bricks O'Brien. I play video games, and so do you. So I chose the wild mode difficulty, which is not the spring, easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl phrase uh, difficulty, which would basically mean you breeze through the game like nothing. Uh, so this is already tossed me right in. All right. It's very peaceful, very everything else. I'm going to move my giant big old head down here so that way you can see whatever that currency is. What? 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 Okay, cool. Kirby has floaties. Look at that. Nice. All right. So again, I haven't seen anything of the game at all. Um, I know relatively how long the game is, but that's about it. Um, there was a demo available. I did not go for the demo because I wanted to be surprised. And you also could not carry over your progress. Oh, that's a lot of... That's a lot. Um, I didn't want to... I don't want to get spoiled, you know? What's that? Oh. Okay. Oh. All right. So, so yeah. Here's a box. There's a box. It's cracking open and everything. Um, the currency seems to be the stars as illustrated right up above there a little bit. Um, you look friendly, but you're definitely not. Get in my belly. Bam, there you go. Uh, double cherries, those are from Super Mario. So stellar. Um, I know that people are excited about this because it's a 3D Kirby game. It looks gorgeous on Nintendo Switch. So um, it's also a multiplayer game. There we go. There's a big opening. Look at this. It's a post-apocalyptic world. We had a full-on society full of business people in those skyscrapers making trillion dollar deals and now not anymore. Who worked in those buildings for how long and what happened? I have no idea. We're gonna figure it out, but not quite yet. Um, so this is a third, sur the third, yes, third, uh, copy ability. Uh, in case you've never heard of Kirby before and you have no context of what's going on, Kirby is a pink puffball who is the defender of Dreamland and the defender of dreams in their entirety which is why I've always appreciated Kirby for what uh, he is. I believe it's a he. And over the years, there's all different adventures involving King DDD, Meta Knight, uh, Waddle Dee, etc. And then in this game, I don't really know what's going on. All I know is that we had our intro of being like, hey, so Dreamland needs to be defended yet again. Uh, do something about it. And that's what I'm going to do. So hopefully you enjoy watching me play the game. But of course, I'll always recommend other people to play the game as well to get a better gist of you know, how the experience is. Uh, I can drop my ability here by holding Y. Can I combine the two? I'm pretty sure I can. Uh, that is a bomb ability. Yeah, so the bomb ability is kind of, ooh, you can roll them. All right. So that makes it a little more practical. Wow. All right. Interesting. Um, definitely, ooh, like the top down angle is so interesting. It's very bright. Uh, and not that, not that I expected a Kirby game to not be bright and beautiful. Why is it not? Oh, it takes a long time to explode. Wow. All right. Um, not that I would ex expect a Kirby game not to be very bright, colorful, etc. Uh, it's just, I guess, a little more surprising, I guess. 
Ooh, why am I going off the edge? I'm not even paying attention. I'm paying attention to everything else going on here. Um, I'm trying to take in the post-apocalyptic world itself. It's looking very... It, they somehow made post-apocalyptic look not dreary and full of zombies and like fungal things growing out of the heads of zombies like Last of Us. It's great. Uh-oh. Fully loaded with Herbie. That's what that is. I guess. I like that you can see the whiskers and the, the textures on the, uh, whatever those things are called. Oh, I'm just gonna accidentally inhale a car real quick. I wonder why there's no sound effects. It's just the music. I mean, the music's just fine, but I wanted, you know, a little, oh, okay. So we've seen Carby before. Carby was very well known in the trailers and all that. This is not how Kirby would drive a car. This makes me think like, this is how I feel after like the Chinese food buffet, you know? Just like waddling out of there. That's how I actually enter into the car as well. No, just kidding. That's not how that is. I, I, oh, you kind of go right through those grates over there. That's fine. Um, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of how it be. So there's all these different abilities that you can get in the game. And they're, they're probably little gimmicky things. You don't, you don't play them for super long periods of time, but you still play them. Um, and yeah, there's multiplayer. I don't know what the multiplayer is like. I can't say I'm going to be playing with anybody else because I'm a very lonely man, but a lonely man who will play this game to maybe a hundred percent completion. Maybe not. I don't know. It depends. You know, maybe, maybe for once this time, they're like, Hey, we're going to give you some super great rewards for a hundred percent. Probably not because normally Every game that I play, I don't really care to do that. But, you know, you never know. So, I have been a longtime Kirby fan. Although the games are super, super simple, and I'm a 27-year-old uh, pro gamer, as you all know. They are super simple by comparison. Ooh, it's a radio. Y'all don't know what radios look like. The radios don't look like that anymore. That's definitely music out of, like, Sonic Adventure 2. What? Ready to go. What is that? Feast your eyes on the new world. What is that? Egyptian text? Hieroglyphs? That's not Japanese, right? What is it? What is this language? Is this Japanese? It must be Japanese. No one. Oh no! You can read it down below. You can totally read that that script, whatever that. Is. It's like unknown. It's like the unknown text. It's very tough to tell, but you can read it. It's like it's everything's flipped. It's like upside down. Oh, it's totally upside down and mirrored. That's what it is. It's upside down and mirrored. No, maybe not. Maybe just up. Maybe just you got to flip it this way. What's this way? Vertically? I totally ignored all the text. I was I was too busy deciphering the text. I, I ignored the song, which is good for you, because then you don't hear me awfully sing. But then I, I was too thrown off by the vertical orientation. Oh, pigeons are evil. What else is do? Great. Great. They don't have the strength to hoist up those Waddle Dees in the cages. That's not possible. I don't know what the deal is. All right, po park the car. Park the car in the Harvard Yard, or rather park the car over here. Ooh. <laughs> that should be the sound effect Kirby makes. <laughs> <laughs> not not just like a, a very happy boy. It should be. <clears throat> that's, that's what I would sound like if I were inhaling a car. But anyways. Um... Oh, so this is a, a, an aspect of the game that I knew of, but I haven't seen. Is that there's a village. And a village that you can, I guess, rebuild. And then as you get more of the currency, I believe you can get more Waddle Dees to come back to the village. And there's different abilities. And I also heard there's upgrades as part of your game. Which is very cool. Also, people think this thing is evil. For whatever reason. I don't know why. I don't know. I haven't looked at it at all. But for some reason, this just gives an evil vibe. That's not necessary. Also, you could just exit out the back. 
right? You could just exit from the back of it because there's a nice giant hole. In the you could totally squeeze through those bars. You could absolutely squeeze through that. That is not an issue whatsoever. Oh. Oh, this is like Paper Mario. All right. Oh, it's like Mario Odyssey, actually. No, I d I'm doing the wrong thing. Okay. There we go. We got a bowling. The it's basically bowling simulator here. Yeah, okay. This is fine. Man, the, the bombs definitely take way too long to explode over there, though. I like the design of them. They're very uh, spicy. Ooh, okay. There we go. And that was it. You could have, but you could have squeezed through. There we go. First one of the game. Gotta love that. Cool. That's gonna happen a lot. Yeah. You say you saved me. Thank you. But what about those other guys, the Waddle Dees? They were all captured and taken away. We fought those beasts as hard as we could, but they kept coming back for more. Now I'm the only one left. I have to go save them. I have to. I don't think you're evil. You don't give off the evil vibes. Not really. Not yet. That could change. Not yet. You help me save everyone? That's great. Kirby saying hi does not mean that. I'm Elphalin. 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 That'll be the next Smash Bros. character besides Waddle Dee. Hey, Kirby. Who's that? It's Waddle Dee. You're not getting added to Smash Bros. Sora is. Co-op with two players, I should say. All right, so it's not quite a multi-multiplayer. But it's at least two play. Well, it is multiplayer. Two player, not like four. But anyways. All right, to the world map we go. I'll go play the first level. I don't know how in-depth each of the levels and the worlds are going to be. I've heard there are six worlds to uncover. And this is a nice, uh, nice map. I like this. All right, so the natural planes. Well, clearly not natural. These are Kirby made, man made. I don't know. Whatever these things are. Uh, but there's probably something on this little island over here, I would assume. Um, yeah, this is pretty cool. Oh, and you can go over here. Oh, so this is a whole area. Gotcha. So it's a beach theme and all that other stuff. Nice. All right. So I'll go play this level here. Oh, and there's all different little objectives. I like this. It's not just a simple beat the thing and you're done. Clear the stage, save the hidden Waddle Dees, and there's all sorts of other things too. So I can get a maximum of six Waddle Dees saved the entire way through. Now, also remembering this is this is a game not designed for 27-year-old men. It's designed for like someone who's not that age. So I don't know how difficult it's gonna be, but I'm curious to find out and I'm I'm anxious, not anxious. That's the wrong word, because anxious is normally a bad thing. Um, but I'm excited. Excited to play. So thank you for joining me and being along all this. Um, I haven't played a Kirby game since, uh, what, Star Allies? Hippity hoppity, get up, bibbity bobbity, boo boo, bye bye. Um, yeah, I haven't played since Star Allies. I actually just deleted Star Allies off of my, uh, Switch because I didn't have any room for this. Okay, cool. There's something over here. Little secret. What's the secret? Nothing. Okay. Oh, so it tells you the, the, the things, the other objectives here. Make the tulips bloom. Nice. All right. I can take a vending machine if I wanted to. Do I feel like doing that? I feel like I should. Wait, do I have to? Do I? No, I don't have to drop it. I do. Oh, vending mouth. Oh, oh, and there's soda cans. Those are the things. Oh, all right. Well, this is a little much. All right. I mean, I like it. I'm here for it. How do I get more cans or don't I? I'm assuming I don't actually. Wait, before I go that way, I saw something else over here. You always gotta, ah, there we go. Okay, so that's how you do it. So you get more cans by just picking up stuff over here. Gotcha, all right. And so obviously I can't float up the way with a giant vending machine at my disposal, but I'm sure I'll figure it out. That is a capsule, which is probably not a, what? Oh. Oh, there we go. All right. Look at this big old ball. What are you going to do? Crush that rock? Nah, we're good. Can I defeat you, actually? That'd be kind of cool, Loki. Okay, can't do that. Um, I feel like that's going to be somewhat of an objective here. Look at Kirby's waddle. And that's how I feel after eating pizza on Pizza Fridays. Wow, it was literally one shot to get that ball done? All right. I guess so. That's fine. I'm game with that. Fly, Kirby. Fly. There we go. I love that, like, Kirby just waves to you. It's a very friendly experience, you know? 
Um, what could have been a very dark and dreary sort of a game with having the post-apocalyptic theme, uh, definitely not as much of a fan of that. I like games that make me feel happy to combat the, you know, not, not the sadness I have in my life, but you know, the, just the, get the positive vibes rolling. And most of the, the post-apocalyptic games I've ever played are definitely not that same vibe. So yeah, we're going through like seven copy abilities in one go. Because now there's a cone. Pink cone is pink cone, all right? Grab the cone. Never, never doubt the power of the pink cone, okay? Spike downward. Ooh, I like that. That's satisfying. Because you can also continue your forward momentum as you're pinning down with the power of pink cone. Yes. So there must be a ton of copy abilities if they're introducing like three of them from the get. Especially pink cone. Oh, so powerful. I got a buddy of mine who goes by Jang Bricks, and he does a lot of Lego stuff. And uh, he uses the power of pink cone in all of his Lego builds. And it's just that thing of, you know, pink cone is pink cone. Pink cone doesn't have a, a inherent purpose. It doesn't have a, a real reason for it. It just pink cone exists as pink cone. And that's that, you know? So, okay, I gotta make all five of the tulips uh, become alive. I don't know if I've missed them. Definitely wanna break, burst that pipe. There we go. There's so much to explore. Ride the spewing water. Oh, oh, I did it. Okay, cool. Look at that. Nice. And then I have another capsule. Okay. So, yeah, they, they will encourage multiple playthroughs because you're not going to be able to do everything in one go. Or at least I'm assuming so. And then they're going to bring me to a little boss area right here. They're going to be like, ooh, I'll take this. Yeah, there we go. The cutter. Beautiful. Because the bombs don't take, uh, ooh. They don't take that long to figure out, you know? Ooh, the wild edge? Ooh, you're a different boss. I've never seen you before. Let me, uh, ooh, okay, all right. Okay, and I'm gonna do this instead. Nice. So, you know, with these sort of things, right, you can use the copy abilities. It's probably more beneficial time-wise to do the thing. Ooh, nice, okay. Um, it's probably more, yeah, beneficial time-wise to, like, actually use the stars and all that. Because you'll probably just defeat them a bit more easily here. I'm gonna inhale you. Oh, it's just a sword. Alright, so that's not that spicy. Get him out of here. Give me that waddle D. Yes, indeed, indeed. Yeah. Cool. So that's one down. Two to go. Still maintaining the momentum here. I got a nice big hunk of meat over here. Give me that meat. Thanks. These bowls are not... Ooh, just one slice of the sword and you're done? There we go. Awesome. Um, it is still um, thunderstorming pretty hard outside. I Hopefully I don't lose power. Not that that would really matter for the video because eventually... Is this about to be like another water bursting pipe here? Um... Uh, if you inhale a big object without dropping your current copy ability, approach the object and press B to give it a try. How many abilities? Oh, there we go. Oh. So what if I just walk by that Waddle Dee? Have I missed another one? I wonder if they'll do that thing. Oh, you're sleeping. I'm not going to destroy you. I'm going to destroy you. You're trying to chomp at the bit for me here. Okay. Okay, so clearly... I have to use the, uh, <laughs> my first reaction is like, hey, can I do a ground pound over here real quick? Oh, no, I got to go over here, actually. All right. No, don't smack my face into the bunny. This is not Easter time. Hold on. There we go. That's what I'm talking. Nope. Actually, I didn't need to drop the copy ability, but that's okay. All right. You weird stepping turtle thing. Get him out of here. Ooh, look at that. So the Waddle Dees are not necessarily for like the end of the, the, the level. It's just they're kind of lurking around. Interesting, okay. So I found my three, which is great, but there's definitely, uh, there's probably, I would assume there's some secret ones because I did find one, well, I found one of the secrets in general by going up on that, uh, on that water spigot thing. Anything over here? Yeah, oh, I found the fourth. I, I totally forgot. 
I forgot to look out for any of those uh, tulips still. And they can even be on buildings too. Ooh, you look, you look not happy. All right, well, um, yep. Ooh, so I'm supposed to do all this, okay. There, ooh, <laughs> just get, just get chomped on over there. All right, cool, yep, that's fine. No, stop that. Oh, I can't do that, wait. Oh, there we go. Now you're done, Zo. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Oh, this might be, this is definitely the final boss right here. Absolutely is. I want to know what those things are. Those are probably like little... I just like dug down on the, the turtle's back right there. Oh, and there's, there's three. Okay. I'm learning so much in the process. Hey, there we go. Stage clear. All right, so there's three. I got my three. I was so close. I was so close to the, the one. That's all I needed. Hey, there it is. Oh, volume one. They know. They know people like me. They collect their stuff, you know? Oh, and you can get duplicates. Of course you can. There's volume one. The captured Waddle Dees. And I got a third. And that's a... Wow, I've always wanted a collectible water tank. Thanks, game. Love you, too. Cool. So the more Waddle Dees I save, I'm pretty sure this town will be restored. I actually want to see that progress real quick. So if I go back, can I go and see what the progress is? I must be able to. It was so close. So close to the final one there. So, so close. Ooh, and I can see my collection of figures. Like I don't already have enough collectibles in general. All right. Let me see what happens at the Waddle Dee Town. I'm assuming I don't have to defeat every single level before something happens, right? Yeah, there we go. Or maybe I need 60. That's nice. Wow, that's that's a lot. Okay. But you can see progress is on the village here. I am always a fan of things that are interactive like this in the game. I love seeing the progression and I love seeing life coming about to uh, like the levels and the, the hub world overall. I don't like it where you just hop from level to level. I like having a main base of operation like this because it just makes it feel a lot more alive and friendly. So eventually all this is going to be filled in by Waddle Dees that are going to have, um, you know, a lot of a lot of buildings to create. So by the time I get 60, everything should be at least everything over here should be ready to rock and roll. Can I sit on this bench? It's going to let me sit here. Well, it's going to let me crouch and be angry. OK, cool. Um, I can, you know, I love that. I love that when um. The Waddle Dees are rebuilding society. The first thing they do, first thing they do is rebuild the movie theater. <laughs> That's what I would do too. But I'm going to play more Kirby Forgotten Land in the next episode. We're going to tackle the, the second level of World 2 and then so much more. So thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time for more of the Natural Plains. Yes, indeedy dandy. Bye.